of new awesome tutorials and demos and product information for you to share. So I hope that everyone enjoyed their 2015 and everyone's getting ready for an amazing Sweet 16. I love that kind of little hashtag tagline for this year. So I wanted to kick off the year by introducing you to some things that are going to make your life easier. I found out about this particular product many years ago and I think I would have given up on airbrushing had it not been for this. So I wanted to do a new and updated version of this tutorial. I filmed one a long time ago and I made the biggest mistake of filming it kind of from here down. So there's lots of interesting uh, feedback and comments on that YouTube video. So I figured, you know what, let me just update it, uh, update some of the methods that I use, talk about the products, how I do it, and hopefully inspire you to check out an ultrasonic cleaner. Uh, just not only to save you time and countless, even hundreds of hours of cleaning time, but just so that you're in the know, so that you don't get intimidated by your airbrush equipment. So, Happy New Year, everybody. I'm really looking forward to a great year. I have a fun, exciting travel schedule lined up, so I'll keep you posted about the classes that I'm going to be teaching. Uh, I will be at convention at the end of January this month, and I am doing the keynote speaking on a uh, tools and recipe to success uh, and more bookings in 2016 topics. So definitely check me out there. I will be hopefully heading to the UK, to the face painting shop, and back to uh, Holland. So lots of things planned. So make sure you're keeping up with me on social media, on Facebook, on Instagram, um, on my blog, paintpal.com. There's so much to know about. So definitely stay in touch. All right, let's get started. So this is called an ultrasonic cleaner. It has been used in the tattoo industry, in the dental industry, um, very wide used to clean jewelry. It's a very versatile system. But when it comes to cleaning your airbrush parts and your airbrush stencils and guns, this has become my go-to. Uh, as I explained before, I probably would have given up on airbrushing long ago had it not been for this. The reason being is when you are airbrushing, um, the inside of your airbrush gets dirty and to clean it takes forever when you're doing it by hand. Um, if I used to leave them soaking in alcohol, like a little Tupperware dish soaking in alcohol, but what I found was that it was rusting some of my parts or causing them to, to just not last as long as I would like them to. So what I started doing is at the end of every gig, I throw them inside of here and then I get home and I throw them in my ultrasonic cleaner. Now, there's ups and downs to using an ultrasonic cleaner. One of them is that you need to keep an eye on it. Uh, the front of your ultrasonic cleaner comes with all these warnings, like it gets hot because that's what it does. It heats it up and shakes your stuff really fast to clean it. So it's a time saver, but you just still got to keep an eye on it. So I'm going to show you how I use it so that you can hopefully uh, pick up on these techniques, apply them to your own cleaning schedule and save yourself a lot of headache and lost parts and extra time that you just don't need to be spending because time is money. All right, so what I first do is your ultrasonic cleaner comes with a lid and a, well, this particular ultrasonic cleaner that we have on sale this month at Tilly Farm comes with a wire basket inside, which is good if you're just going to throw full guns in there. Um, but it also comes with a lid. Never operate it with the lid on. I don't do that. Um, and then what I like to do is you can take this out or you can use it. Doesn't matter. It depends on how you plan them. And I fill the base with water. Okay, so just regular water. And I'm going to attempt to not spill it. So you want to fill about 75% of the basin and I'll get up to so you want to fill it about 75% full of water then I get a Tupperware container like this um, maybe this size too something that's plastic something that's not going to totally melt so you want it to be microwave safe because I airbrush using alcohol inks or hybrid paints I like to clean all of my stuff with alcohol I find that it cleans best um, whether you're using water-based paint, alcohol-based paint, silicone paint, I like to use alcohol. Um, I like to use 91% alcohol to clean it. You can get 91% alcohol at Walgreens or CVS. If you are using Createx paint, 
Do not use alcohol. You will want to use Windex inside of your Tupperware. So all I do is just fill up my Tupperware with alcohol as such. So just about 25%. And then I take these blast caps that have been sitting, soaking in our sitting and crusting with alcohol inks. Yeah. And I just kind of throw them in here. Just like that. Just like that. And I lay my Tupperware right on top of it. Then I take my guns and I take off the nozzle cap. That's what this piece is. You don't really have to clean it unless it's gunked up here. Um, and then I take off this piece, which I hate cleaning. This is the cone and it is just tiny and small and I used to lose it all the time. Might even drop it now. I drop it in there. I take off the back, take out the needle or you can leave it in there. It's really dry and gunked up in here. And I just throw it in my little Tupperware container as well. Just like that, just so that it's submerged. You want your container obviously not to tip over. Um, if you find one that's a little wider, it's going to sit nicer inside of here. And then all you're going to do is turn on your ultrasonic. So you have one side that's going to set the temperature, and then you're going to have one side that you can set how long. Once you know this is set for five minutes, that's pretty good. Turn it on. It's going to make this annoying noise. The cool thing about this ultrasonic is it has a timer on it, set it for five minutes, so you can technically walk away. I don't like to ever leave anything that's heating up alcohol by itself. Ultrasonic is working its magic. So as you can see, not even five minutes later, my blast caps are almost totally clean. No more scrubbing, no more letting them sit overnight and them getting all gunky and, and just kind of corroding because these are stainless steel tops. When they sit in alcohol for a while, they tend to, you know, crud and cor uh, corrode. So in less than five minutes, these are like brand new. This would have taken me a full night to let sit. Then I would have had to scrub them down. So this is just a time saver. Now, if you're like me and you use BAM stencils or you use uh, Pink Power stencils with your face paint, you can also throw these in here. This is just regular water-based paint. This is just, I use them with rainbow cakes. And they get gunky sometimes and you just want a nice clean and you don't want to sit there one by one and wash them down. Who has time for that? We want to be enjoying ourselves and drinking a glass of wine. So all you have to do is just throw them in there just like that in your ultrasonic. But remember, these are plastic too. So you don't want to leave them in very long. You don't want to melt them. Then um, I'm just going to hit the start button. And again, we're just shaking them clean. Same thing. These actually clean a lot faster uh, being that it's water. So look, literally five seconds clean. Totally clean again. And you have you ever tried to clean these? What ends up happening is like you're lifting edges, you're getting pieces. Look at this. Almost brand new in under 10 seconds. Okay. Shake these off. Like that. And look. Voila. Once you are done using your ultrasonic for the day, I never recommend storing anything with that is electric with water in it and just leave it sitting around. So keep that same bucket close by and when you're done, always, always unplug your unit because you don't want to just use alcohol or use water and electricity. And it has a 9 volt or it has a... Uh, 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 electricity cord behind it just simply unplug it and it ha and remove your basket just like that and then it has these little handles on the side okay simply pour the water right out take a paper towel dry it off store it away 
Put your basket back in there after you dry it out, put your lid on and store it, okay? That is one way to keep your stuff in good condition, not get anything damaged. And then just carefully dispose of this water, especially if it's full of face painting residue. So those are tips on how to use, clean, assemble your ultrasonic cleaner. So I hope you enjoy this ultrasonic. If you have any questions on how to use it, by all means, reach out to me. That's what I'm here for. For airbrush guns that are a little bit more caked on, I suggest throwing them in there up to 10 minutes. Um, I don't really recommend using it longer than that. I like to just use it for 10 minutes, give it a deep clean, and then I'm good to go. This machine is the bomb. So thanks for tuning in. I wish everybody a happy, successful, profitable new year. I hope to see you somewhere along the road at one of my many classes. So as always, keep in touch with me on social media. It is great to hear from you. Have a great day.